What's going on guys, this is Nate from the Script Academy welcoming you to another episode of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rule Solo Mode series. If you have not seen our previous episode of our Master Rule Solo Mode series, make sure to check up on the cards, you will not want to miss it. We get absolutely destroyed. Spoilers. If you have not seen any of our Master Rule Solo Mode series, make sure to check that out in the comments down below. I will go ahead and link it in the very first comment, I'll pin that for you guys. So you can check out the playlist for the entire Solo Mode series, so you can see the entire thing in its entirety. If you have not downloaded Yuga Master Rule yourself, make sure to do that because you're doing getting some lots of gems right now. You can play it and learn how to do this, and you can add me, and we can do some live duels, and you can destroy me there as well. But that is all I've got. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, yesterday, we did go ahead and attempt to do these last two duels up in this corner here. Um, these end duels always seem to be hard, and honestly, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it. Today, we are doing it. We're jumping in very first off with our deck. We're going to play it with Monarchs, and we're going to win right away, starting it off with a W, and then we're going to use their deck and hopefully not lose. Their deck is harder. Um, last time we didn't open a single Monarch. If you did not see that, make sure to check out that video first. We didn't open up a single Monarch in our last duel, and it was hopeless. I could not do a single thing, and it made me cry so much. Give me... I guess that's okay. Um, let's go ahead. First off, we will... And this is kind of rough, actually. We're just going to normal summon our idea, getting an Eidos. The problem with me playing against Mech Knights is I always forget the secret effect where, like, their artifacts are negated if they're in the same column with a Mech Knight, and that screwed me over a couple of times. So I'm really going to have to make sure that I'm keeping track of that. Um, let's go ahead. We'll normal summon our Erebus here. Erebus effect is going to activate. Let's go ahead. We'll dump it. Pantheism and a Prime. I always forget you can do the one in the hand, but I don't want to do that. So then we'll dump that one. And we'll dump this one. And we'll send one back to their deck. We'll go ahead and we'll attack real quick. For 28. We are going to leave the... Um... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave the Prime in the Grave for right now. We're just going to go ahead and end our turn there with nothing set. That way they can't actually affect us at all. We'll see what they can do during their turn, and then our turn. We're probably going to add a return first off before we do anything else. Ooh, I kind of want to get into a Mobius, honestly. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll draw for turn here. Into a Pantheism. That's actually not bad at all. I think we got this in the bag. Let's go ahead and activate our Pantheism. Discarding our Pantheism in hand to draw two. Didn't draw into our Mobius, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and banish one of our Pantheisms here. We want to get to a return. Uh, I'm gonna get to a return here, so let's do those two and a. Mm, do I have tenacities in the deck? I do. I do have three tenacities. Let's just do that. We'll get one of those decked in a little bit. Get those in the grave for the prime as well. As long as he doesn't have an ash here and his two cards in hand, which I don't believe he plays that, um, we will reveal the rise. I think that's what I'm gonna summon first. Getting a return. All right, so from there we can go ahead and we can activate our Eidos and begin our progression towards winning the entire duel. Special summoning our idea. Always special summoning it in zones that don't have a Mech Knight in them. Idea's effect is going to activate special summon an Eidos from deck, getting us an additional summon. Now we want that summon because we want to be able to actually get into our Mobius. We'll go ahead and we'll activate that right there. Uh, we're going to then normal search every summon two here. For our Ryza. Ryza effect, we'll try and send this back to the deck. And we're going to shuffle back the tenacity. Um, we will chain two the idea to add back the pantheism. And then chain three will be the return, adding the Mobius. Add a Mobius here. Got that going for us. We'll add back the Pantheism. This will go back to the deck. Alright, we still have our summon here, so we can go ahead and summon over the top of... We'll just go with our guy over here. Activate his effect to destroy his back row. No! I always screwed that up. Mm, I accidentally right-clicked. Oh well, that's fine. We'll pray that he doesn't have anything. He doesn't? 
Can we attack for game? Can we get a quick GG in the chat for me right now? Hit that quick GG right now down in the chat. We got this right away. Didn't lose a single duel so far today, and it feels so good. Oh, I'm doing a happy dance. Doing a happy dance. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. So we got that out of the way. That made me feel a whole lot better after yesterday's mess-ups. Okay, so we have two more duels. Let's go ahead and we'll jump into this. We can take on their deck with our Mech Knight Usartic deck. Today I am going to remember the secrets negates our effects. Usartics, I can remove the counters to go ahead and take control of their monsters. Things that I need to remember here. Because last time I did not remember those things. We are going first. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Discard one card. Add two Usartic monsters to our hand. Uh, I don't like any of this. We're going to end our turn. I don't like going first against Mech Knights. I've kind of learned that if you make them go first, they can't really play. Oh, but he does play the Galaxies. I forget. He plays the Galaxies. Mm. It's like sometimes he has them and sometimes he doesn't. Monster Reborn into, a, into the Photon. Oh, we're taking some damage. Are we getting OTK'd? There's no way. We just had such a great duel. We just had such a great duel. We had a quick GG. Just attacking for 3,000. I'm okay with that, actually. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. He didn't have anything set. I'm liking it so far. Big Dipper. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. We're we'll starting off activating the Big Dipper here. We are going to set our monster right there. We'll go ahead and special summon our Blue Sky. Alright, so Blue Sky's effect is gonna activate, allowing us to add a purple. Alright, so from there we can go ahead and we can activate our departure. Now, departure is going to discard the yellow star to add two to our hand um i like this one and i believe it's this one right okay so i think it's this one so if this starts with something you can target one in the graveyard yeah so you special summon this one first um tributing this one bringing him out in defense position and then his effect will add the other one back So what does the, 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 the. So you can banish this to tribute for the tribution instead. My question is do I want the mech knight all over this? This is a level seven as well. This is gonna be the one where you can Hmm. I need to do the one where I add actually. I think I added the wrong one. Ah. Okay, let's go ahead battle phase here. Attack over his Galaxy Soldier. I can't get over this, unfortunately. Um, we are getting some. We got two fields. We got two counters on this right now, which is good. We'll probably get more next turn, and then we have a Whisper as well. Okay, so if he attacks into this, I can get this. Okay. Okay. Blue Sky. So he's gonna be able to add this time. Whisper, that's not gonna do anything for me. Okay. Are all these quick effects? Every single one of those is quick effects. That's interesting. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're gonna roll. Oh, go trade into Photon Galaxy Eyes. Okay. Attack into this guy. Attack into him. Except he's gonna get moved. And he's gonna switch someone to another one, I'm guessing. Okay, into a Nightfall. Interesting. Oh, into another Photon? Oh, is he gonna over- Oh, he's gonna link. Okay. Okay. Okay, Galaxy has Prime Photon Dragon. Such a big guy. And then he's going into what? Why does he keep going? I hate Cypher Blade Dragon. Okay. See, we saw none of this when I was playing Monarchs. It's insane. Ooh, he's gonna be popping one. That's not good for me. Um, I guess we'll just activate it on him. It doesn't really do much, but it could give him a thousand until it gets gone. I didn't actually read the full card, so is he gonna get his 3,000 and it's gonna stay? Well, at least it stayed. I only take 200, which is nice. That's nice. Okay, so let's see here. We can do some stuff, I think. 
we can do some stuff here. Let's go ahead and drop a turn. Purple Nightfall. Unfortunate that this... and uh, the, 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 the things. Okay, so what I can do here is so during the main phase, you can tribute one level seven or higher, special summon this card from your hand. Monsters at the level. If this card is special summon, you can special summon monsters from our hand except for him. That's not good for me. We'll go ahead and we'll activate our departure first. And we're going to get rid of one of our Nightfalls. We only need one, it's fine. We're not going to chain that, we're going to add... Okay, so we need to figure out which one of these we want to add. So I think you can tribute one other level 7 monster, special summons from your hand. You can not tribute some... But, uh, you can target one spell or trap. He doesn't have spells or trap, that's okay though. Uh, special card... Uh, target one face-up monster that you control. Change it to face-down defense position. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Da, da, da. Target one card, your punch cover, banish it. Okay. Either. Like, it doesn't really matter, I guess. All of these are good. Um, in reality. Just because we want to get our Mega Bliss onto the field right now. Let's go ahead and we'll activate this effect. Um, we can banish the Dipper and Gray for him. And we'll go into face up here. His effect is going to be banishing one in the grave. We can do that. I'm okay with that. Um, I feel like one of these is going to be the best one. So let's go ahead and get rid of the Nightfall. Okay. We can go into our Polari. Using these two. Okay. Okay. In defense. That's ten. Ooh. Okay, so Big Dipper, we can do stuff if we wanted to take control of that. Okay, and then must be successful summon by sending two monsters. You can tribute one level 7 or fire from the hand or some. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll activate that. And so him, I guess we can, we'll do that one too. So I'll get rid of those to take control of this. And then we can not chain either of those for now. We'll take control of this guy. And then Dipper. We can activate this for one of these Widow Don't Tribute. I think we need to do at least seven, right? Right, is it seven that we needed for this? Or does that matter? Ooh, difference of seven, so we need to have... Attribute that one. So bring out this guy. Yes, and defense position is fine. Does he get his effect to banish? He does not. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we will bring out... I think it's this one that negates the effects of face a monster down a, le a level. He doesn't have a level. Okay, so we'll synchro here into this guy. So that's 6,000. We could do more. 7. 7. Man. Um, da -da 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 -da. Is this once per turn? This effect is nothing. It's negated, right? I kind of just want to tribute over the top of this later on. Honestly. Um, let's just go ahead. We'll go into battle phase. We'll attack here for 32. We'll attack here for 3,000. And then this card... I don't know if we can take control of it forever or not, but I do want to get the Nightfall on the field for later on, so we're just going to go ahead. Ooh, we have to tribute two for that. Hey, I don't like that. I don't like that, actually. Um, 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 um. So this guy right here, you can add one from the deck of the hand. We're going to go ahead and activate that. Select a monster as tribute. We'll tribute this one off. That's fine. Special summon him. He'll allow us to add one. So we'll add there. We can add any of these. Turn one face up. Add that to our hand. 
and then we're just going to tribute two monsters, so this one and this one. So we'll get rid of that, get that back into the grave. I don't want that anywhere near the field, just in case he can take control of it. And we'll get Nightfall, because then Nightfall can banish itself, right? The target, banish it until the stamina phase of your next turn, and then add one. So that's good for us. We'll go ahead and we'll end our turn there. We'll see what he can do. Hopefully he can't do anything. We don't have anything set. And our stuff's kind of... Oh, shoot. Okay. Blue Sky just add, but he can't do anything without that, right? That's the only thing he can do. Um... Da -da -da. Okay. Um, my turn now. About to end his turn. So let's go ahead. We'll activate this. Banish it to act. So we will add a blue sky. Because during the standby phase, he'll come back. Proper turn. Broad face. Give me something good. You start deck slider. Okay. Um, we'll bring him back over here. Slider does target one, banish from your graveyard special summon, but cannot attack. Also destroy during the end phase. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, we'll set that for now, right here. And then we can special summon the blue sky. I wish I knew what this was. I wish I remembered the attributed for that, right? Uh, we'll add from him. And we will add. We don't want to change anything. We're just going to add one. We already have a Nightfall. We don't need that. We can do either of these, though. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's just go Battle Phase and see if we lose. Or see if we win. Let's find out right here. Oh, 3,000. Dope. That's what I like to see. Uh, well, we're not going to attack anymore. We're going to go ahead and end our turn, unfortunately. And that's all we got for now. Uh, we do have to figure out a way to deal with that, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. Push someone in a defense position. Give us more of these, I guess. Up to five, six. Uh, I don't think I want to activate anything just yet. He's going to end his turn there, okay. Um, ending turn, we can go ahead and activate our Nightfall. Banishing it. We don't need to chain anything to that. And we can add anything that we want, really. What do we have in our hand right now? We have a yellow in our hand. Let's add the red. I literally only know them by their colors. Uh, activating. That's fine. And then standby phase. We'll get back the nightfall. Another slider. I need to figure out a way to get over the top of that. It is my big thing now. So slider is going to special summon one. We can only do things to the level for now on. So what do we got going on here? So this is the... Target up to two cards in the field, destroy them. Difference of... Uh, okay. Okay, okay. We got this. So we'll activate the slider. Slider will special summon one in the grave. One of these allows me to add, right? And special summon one from our hand. Add one. Okay, that's what I want there. We won't change anything just yet. We'll go defense right there. That will allow us to add. Adding is always good. Effect on the field to add. And then we won't activate that effect. Not change anything else. We'll add. He is a level 7, so I need an 8. So we can do this one or this one. So if he summon, you can target one and destroy it. I like that. That's a good time. We'll destroy that. That seems like a smart plan. Okay, so let's go ahead. We can activate his effect now. Um, we will tribute one of these in the grave. That's fine by me. So banish that. I'm not chaining anything. Special summon that right there. We're doing things. We'll activate his effect to target this and destroy it. Okay, okay, so we popped that. Now we can synchro into our Polari by using these two. Now we'll go defense position right here. Polari effect, so if he's summoned, you can activate one Big Dipper, direct him to deck, and I don't want to do that. So we won't do that. 
Ooh, he gets his effect though. What is he doing? Um, summoning a blue sky. I can get over that though, so I'm okay with that. Oh, he's gonna add there. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now his effect. So we can tribute one level seven or higher monster from our hand, so to summon one from the graveyard. So let's go ahead. We'll activate that effect, and we will banish the departure. Specialing an eight in the graveyard. Okay, so there's that. We will not activate his effect because everything's already in defense. We will go into, I believe it's this one. Target up two cards on the field and destroy it. I'm learning this, you start to screw that. I'm learning it. Summon it right here. So his effect will activate. And we can do this one. And this one. Not chaining anything. His effect is going to chain though, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Special Ling 1, I'm okay with that, because those are going to destroy it. And now we should be able to attack for game. We're just going to go ahead, we're going to attack into it. We'll go attack here. Attack for game. Justice. That's what that is. That is justice. You see me, I'm learning this Eustar Arctic stuff. Oh, that was so nice. And I think I'm done with these Arctics now, honestly. Because I think they should be giving me something else right here. Okay, well, that was fun. All right. And we got a new dual field for that, okay? All right, our next one. Psy frames, okay. Um, I need... I need a breather. I'm gonna play with our deck. It's gonna be a bit of annoying, but we're just gonna hang out for a second. We're gonna get a breather. It's gonna be nice and enjoyable. I'm already seeing a Monarch hand and a Tenacity. It is so nice. Um, I hope he gets a monster on the field first so he can't, like, do crap to me. Blue Sky, okay. Ooh, I didn't realize we have permanence. That's nice. Um, I think I wanna get rid of Circuit as fast as possible. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good for me. Prime. Crap. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna gamma me right away, isn't he? He's not. To add one to my hand, we'll add a pantheism. He's gonna do some nasty stuff to me, though. I already know it. Discard that. Control into two Erebus, okay? Uh, we'll activate a Pantheism here. I want to do... I already did a Tenacity, though, didn't I? That's annoying. Okay. Um, return. March. And a Domain. Return to our hand. We'll activate that. Um, I guess we're gonna summon the idea. Idea, closing our eyes, hoping he doesn't chain anything. He does not. We're gonna special summon an Eidos. We'll set that right there, summon that right there, getting our summon. We can then summon. Tripping these two. I think we might be able to chain block. I think. We're gonna find out how this works. So we'll do effect of Erebus, chain link one. Chain link two is. Return to add. And then chain link three is idea. And he would have to gamma the idea, right? He didn't do anything, okay. So he's probably gonna have the one that says you can attack, you can special summon it. Um, let's add the, that's Dalos to our hand. So I can see his hand get rid of what I need to get rid of. We'll dump a Pantheism and a Escalation. Couple one. We'll go Battle Phase. 
attack directly. 28. Main phase 2. Set 1. I hate the fact that I have to set 1, but it's okay. We'll set that there. Okay. That orange? That is orange. Tribute itself for a blue sky. Blue sky's effect to add one. I'm gonna let that go through for now. End phase, okay? Draw phase, drawing into a pantheism, okay? And he controls the monster so we can't do any side frame crap to me. We're gonna pantheism for a pantheism. Draw two. Activate our Pantheism and Grave. And we're gonna do Tenacity, Tenacity, and... We'll go our March, because I want my stuff destroyed by card effect. So even if he does side frame crap to me, he can't do anything to me. Activate the Tenacity, grabbing the Return, or the March. Uh, we're doing the Thestalos, so that's fine. Um, we will do March. And do we win right here? We might win right here, depending on what we do. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll activate the... Eidos. See, this is much more relaxing for me. It allows me to like, kind of get out of my own head, not overthink things right now. Eidos. Uh, not chain anything. Get that right there. We get an additional summon. Um, we will the Solos first over these two. Summon that right there. The Solos will activate. Return will activate the add. We could probably do like a Mobius there. Hit that. Add that to Pantheism. We haven't erupt. We should be good to go. Add back the Pantheism. Return. We'll add a Mobius. And then Thessalos, let's see your hand. Get rid of this guy. So that is game as long as he doesn't have anything here. Um, we'll activate the Prime. See how much fun this is, guys? This is so much more relaxing. It's not stressful. We're just hanging out. We're talking with our bros. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, we'll summon that right there. We still have an additional summon we can activate our storm for, uh, attributing their stuff. We can then summon our Mobius. Tributing two, we'll tribute our Prime, tribute their Blue Sky. That will go right here. Uh, Mobius effect will activate. Popping this. Popping this. Not destroying anything else. Going into battle phase, he doesn't have anything. We can just attack for game. It's so nice. Oh, so relaxing. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. Okay. Alright. Got ourselves 200 gems! Hey, alright. Alright, so our last duel of the day. We've already used their deck, we'll use ours. So we got Cyframe Gear Monsters, Negate Effects, and Destroy Cards under various conditions. Use effects such as Mech Knight, uh, Purple Nightmare, to be wary of the possibility of using Cyprium Gear Monsters. When the turn comes around with no monsters, it's important to stay alert, even when there are no monsters on your opponent's field. Let's go ahead, we'll jump into it. We'll see what actually happens here. See what kind of stuff he has, like, up in here with our deck. So we're playing Mech Knight Sky Striker. Okay. Okay, okay. I played Sky Striker once or twice in my day. Ooh, the Cyclones are gonna be key here. Draw for turn. Give me an engage. Once per turn, you can target one other card you control. Send that card to the graveyard. Also, I can activate cards or effects in response to it. Uh, once you're in end phase, you can set spell cards up to the number of Sky Striker spell cards you can activate this turn. I think you activate this first, right? We'll activate this next. And then you activate this targeting the multi roll. Give me a Sky Striker. Give me a ray! Dang it. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Okay, well, I guess that's all we got. Because we can't even summon these right now. 
We might have screwed up, son. Yep. Do damage to me, daddy. Um. Drop a turn here into a red moon. We can go ahead and activate this real quick. Target this. Not a Sky Striker. That's a Sky Striker. That's a Sky Striker. Add Disney a card to my hand. We're gonna add this card. Rose. Send that to the grave. Alright, so if a Sky Striker Ace monster is normal summon or special summon except for Sky Striker Ace, um, you can special summon one, this card from your hand. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay. So we can normal summon, or we can summon this. Special summon going into, I think, let's see here. Target one in the graveyard, we don't want that. We want to do. Can attack directly. That's the one we want, right? Yep. Okay. Into Hayate. Um, we can then go ahead and we can. I guess we can activate this. Just for now. Uh, we'll go into battle phase. And we can attack directly. I update the effect will activate, uh, allowing me to add, send a card to the graveyard, so we can send a engage to the grave. We can go main phase two. And this one's gonna go into the so we'll do that one. The high off there. Into the Kagari. Kagari effect will add back the return or the add that back. We can then activate that. That will allow us to add, and we can destroy stuff. So we control the monsters, and we can target one face monster to destroy it. If you have three or more, you can destroy a spell on the or trap. We can add the mecha. All right, so we got that going for us, and then um, we'll at this point we go into this guy, into that. Shizuku. I'm probably playing this all wrong, but we're gonna find out. We'll set that face down, and then end phase, we gotta add one, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll go to the end phase there, adding one. Activate our... Select a card set to the field, set that right there. And then Shizuku will be able to add a... Engage. Okay. In turn. At the end of the turn, we're not gonna activate anything, we're fine. What do we got in grave? We got one one in grave. One in grave. Alright, so from there we can just go ahead and activate in Activate the engage first. We're gonna do these first. And we'll add a hmm. I want to add one of these, I think, yeah. Add the after. Target one face, I'm going to feel destroy it. If you have three or more spells, that happens. We got one spell in grave right now. We can then activate... Let's see here, what do we want to do? We can activate this to negate his effects if we wanted to, but if we have three in grave, we can take control. If we only have one in grave right now, we don't want to do that. We can just go ahead and negate his effects if we want or two. The problem is he's so big. But I almost want to take control of it. I almost want to take control of it. We'll go ahead and activate another one of these, adding a... Yeah, we'll add that to our hand, jamming waves. We can then activate jamming waves. Targeting this to destroy. We're good there. We have three in grave now, right? One, two, three. Yes, okay, so we can go ahead and activate this to destroy a monster. Just 
destroying this. Now we can do destroy another card. I didn't realize we could destroy two. Yeah, hello. I want to destroy multiple things. Yes, I do. Alright, let's go ahead. We can go into... Anything I want to go into here? We only have... Ooh. I didn't realize that. We could do multiple... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we'll go into that, since he doesn't have anything else on the field anyway. I guess that's okay. I like how there's like, random world legacy world lands. Like, why? Out of all the things in the world that you want to do. Let's go back. Phase here. Attack here. Um, Hayate effect dump one. I guess we can dump one. Oh, there's the Gamma. I shouldn't have done that. Well, that's life. And it's gonna be destroyed too. Um, I could take control of one, I guess. Main phase two. Life. None of these do anything that I want. To happen right now. Um, in turn, yes, we're gonna start setting things. Um, we'll set engage right there. Um, we'll set. Do right here, and then we'll set jamming waves right here. All the spells, okay. So pull those up. We're good to go. Those are gone. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. He's just gonna set one face down. All right, drop a turn here into a world legacy whispers. Okay, which one of these pops a? Or trap. Let's just go ahead. We can special summon. Ooh, let's hold up. Special summon this, I guess, right here. Blue sky to add. We'll add the nightfall. That's all we can really do right there. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll enter battle phase and we'll attack for 2,000 gonna have overload okay well that's a thing that happened to me all right um uh on that note um target wants to be at about about if you control no monsters and your main monster you own target wants to set spell trap hmm that doesn't help me at all i guess we're gonna have to activate engage here we have like one in the deck which one of these destroys target one set spell Check one face up monster in the field. None of these are doing what I want to do. Target one monster in front of banish it. I think it's Janaming Wave. This is going to be the only one that we... Uh, it's this one. Okay, we'll just do that one for now. Um, and then... We'll special summon our... Purple Knight right here. And then if he activates us to banish, then we can do stuff. Alright, how many do we have in the grave? One spell in the grave. That's not good for me. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll enter turn there. Uh, no. We will not. Not this time. I want you to summon. Oh, I guess. Hold up. Ray! Okay, so what we can do here. Normal summon Ray. Yeah, buddy. Let's just go battle phase. Attack for 15. Down to 35. Attack with Nightfall. Okay. Activate effect. Am I going to be able to do anything here? We'll go into a... Anya. Attack for game. 
Will they randomly win? Okay. Alright, well, that's the end of that one, interesting enough. Alrighty, well, got that done. And is that the end of it? We did go ahead and complete that entire tier. I will take that. Okay, so we did end up getting the icon there. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll grab our scenario here and we'll see what it has to say. Our Omen friends battled the Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, the culmination of the Mech Knight's power, with all of their might. As the tide turned in the battle, Ningrisu gathered his strength and put all into one decisive strike of his spear. However, his attack was parried by the Mech Knight Supreme, Spectrum Supreme, opening a large hole in the wall. The already fragile ruins couldn't withstand the impact and began to collapse. Before the dust settled, so as not to be noticed by the Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, Ningrisu directed a subtle glance toward Lee. Noticing his glance, Nice nodded slightly and slipped from the battlefield. She signaled her intentions to infiltrate the base alone and rescue Ib. Lee flew feverishly before finally arriving at Nib. It breathed a sigh of relief when she saw Lee there unharmed, but her relief was short-lived as she learned that the others were battling the Mech Knights. Maybe it was they who were wrong to battle the Mech Knights. To know the truth, she had to stop the battle immediately. As Ib uttered those words, Lee, who stood in front of her, now slowly turned around. Upon their first meeting, Lee had greeted Ib with a warm smile of a fairy. But her smile had transformed, now blackened and hideous. What the heck? Terrified, Ib sought to, sc to scream, but her consciousness was consumed by deep darkness before she could utter a noise. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Uh, we got three World Legacy World Armor, I guess. Um, we did unlock another scenario here. Um, so in tomorrow's episode, we are going to be taking on the two scenarios, and then we're going to finish up our three duels, hopefully, as long as we're able to get through them without getting massacred completely. But we're going to leave it off there, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on this video, because all your support is greatly appreciated. If you have not already, please subscribe, because we are still on our way to our 1.5 thousand subscriber goal. Uh, hoping to hit that within the next couple of months. That would be amazing if you guys did subscribe. But that's all I've got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Nathan Script Academy, setting up for now. Peace out.